The word of the Lord is flawless, like gold refined seven times. In this world, there are seven classes of servants of God sent to this earth to help others. There are seven levels, level one, level two, all the way to level seven servants of God sent to this earth. The level one servant of God went through the fire one time. The level seven men of God went through the fire seven times. The level one servant of God cannot understand what the level three servant of God is doing. This is why 1 Corinthians chapter 11 says this. Paul is saying, there are divisions in the church and Paul believed it to be so because there must be differences among them to show which of them is approved by God. Their understanding differs con concerning the spiritual matters. This is why Paul Apostles say that after time, God will make it known to you. You who are mature should take such a view of things. Here comes the key sentence. If on some point you think differently, that too, God will make it clear to you. It is ordained that you and I should grow together in the Lord. At some point that you think differently concerning a spiritual matter, that too, after time, God will make it known to you. That does not mean that the level one man of God is a fake one. That just means that there is much more things to learn for him. That does not mean that the level one and level two men of God, they are fake. No, they still go to heaven. Just that their understanding is lesser. This is why, I mean, Aaron and Miriam, they speak to Moses, say, Did not the Lord speak to us also? Has the Lord only spoken through Moses? Has he not also spoken to us? Here you see Aaron and Miriam, a level 5 man of God questioning a level 7 man of God. They say, I'm also a man of God. How come God, uh, how come Moses behaves like this? The Lord also has spoken to me. You see Aaron questioning a level 7 man of God. Moses, there ought to be differences among you so that you know who has God's approval. And Jesus went out to preach at the right time. He started to do the call of God at the age of 30. Your 30 years old may be 20 years old. Your 30 years old may be 50 years old. God is just wanting you to hear his voice clearly first. Then you go out to preach. God is saying to you, go out and fish for people. At once, he began to preach. The key word is, at once, he start to preach. When you know that Jesus is real and you have received the Holy Spirit, at once, share your testimony of faith to others. Yes. After you have received the Holy Spirit and know that Jesus is real, at once, go out to do what your heart tells you to do. Peter was a believer in the Lord about a few years before Paul. But Paul quickly became a top apostle because he wasted no time to work for Jesus. God is not choosing those who are wise, those who are eloquent in speech. Rather, God is simply searching for those who make up their decision and heart to serve God. At once, he make up his mind to work for Jesus. So now, I urge you, if you know that your heart tells you to do so, and you have received the Holy Spirit, go out and fish for people. So the Road of Iron Church is always here. You know that there are cell groups operating within the Road of Iron Church, of which you are the leader. So if you want to run your cell group at the Road of Iron Church, let me know. Go out and fish for people. If you want to be the leader and run the group, the cell group alone, let me know and you will be alone to run the cell group. But if you want to run your cell group with another person, let me know.
and I'll find someone for you to run the cell group together. If you want to run your cell group with uh, your neighbor, let me know and the two of you will run it together. If you are unable to get any people to join your cell group, let me know so I can assign you another brother or sister who has managed to get people in their groups. Let us turn to Luke chapter 16, verse 10. Whoever can be trusted little can also be trusted with much. He who is entrusted with little and does well will be entrusted with many things. We are finding out what is the voice of God telling me to do in my life. But what God has already told us to do, we should do it first. Then what to do in our life, his voice will tell us afterwards. We are asking, God, my Lord Jesus, give me a, a voice on how to go about my life. But what God has already told us, you and me, to do in the Bible, we should do it first. Then his voice to guide us comes afterwards. Therefore, do this evangelistic task well and you will be promoted in the heavenly ranks by God himself. Take note that after Apostle Paul became a believer, he preached first. He did not perform miracle first. Apostle Paul preached first. He did not perform miracles first. You can read it in the book of Acts. You will see that it is very clear. The Holy Spirit is a on-the-job training. Is when you are doing the job, then God train you. It's on-the-job training. You know, in school, you have to spend four years, then you are qualified to be a graduate student. But the Holy Spirit is on-the-job training. Straight away, He train you. Straight away, He lifts you up. God enabled Paul to perform signs and wonders, to confirm the word of the Lord. Miracles are to confirm the word that you preach. This is why you see in the book of Acts, after Paul preached, then he see that this person had faith, he healed this crippled man. Jesus did not perform prophecy, healing, deliverance, and miracles to the Pharisees. Do not perform miracles to those who have rejected the word because miracles got their power from the word. We can only perform miracles to those who are considering to believe the word. Perform miracles to those who are considering the word. The prophet Elijah said to the people, How long will you choose between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow the Lord. But if Baal is God, follow Baal. They were considering to follow the word or not. Be like the apostles in Acts chapter 5 when they are counted worthy to suffer for Jesus' name. For the sake of your freedom to do God's work, you lost money. Rejoice. For the sake of freedom to work for God, you lost relationships with friends. Rejoice. What about the hundred talents I paid for these Israelite troops? The man of God replied, the Lord can give you much more than that. Right now we are saying, what about the $40,000 that we have gave? The Lord will say, he will give you more than that. What about the hundred friends that can help me in my life and also for my children's life that I forego? God will say he will give you more than that. You are walking in the right way. You are not suffering for nothing.